Tobin, Ron, good job. You made it through to the final. Thank you. You are both one challenge away from the title of Forged and Fire champion and a check for $10,000. My name is Ron Mazel. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. To me, Bladesmith is an art form. People see me as a big, giant, 280-pound guy that's a little bit intimidating. Tobin, how do you feel? Yeah, a little nauseous right now, but I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Tobin Nieto. With every blade I make, there's a little bit of myself. Definitely ugly and dirty and raggedy enough to be used, and they end up looking like me. <laughs> In the final challenge, you'll be forging an iconic weapon from history. <laughs> a cutlass. <laughs> Army hearties, we get to make a cutlass. I'm very excited about it. The cutlass is a short, broad-bladed saber developed in Europe during the 16th century. Although it was made as a land weapon, it was quickly adopted as the sailor's weapon of choice, largely because it was strong enough to hack through ropes, canvas, and wood, but also because it was short enough to use in close quarters combat. This made it popular amongst navies throughout the world. The last use of the cutlass in a boarding action by the British Royal Navy was recorded as late as 1941. Its effectiveness in battle also made the cutlass favored amongst pirates as portrayed in the film franchise, The Pirates of the Caribbean. Good luck, gentlemen. The design plan for my weapon is to keep it simple, clean, balanced. The first step is getting the whole material down to the right size that I want, up to about an inch. Now I'm just going to concentrate on finishing the handle. I want then to split it into two, almost like a snake tongue. I got to start my heat treating process. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth, I'm about to pull this blade out this oil and see what we have. Uh, I think we good. Once I start grinding the blade, it's looking good, it's coming out. I think it will pass any kind of trash they want to put it to. I'm in a $10,000 zombie killer. It feels really good. I mean, like, you will chop anything in half. What I'm looking at doing is a blacksmith-style hilt with a kind of mangy, used uh, cutlass style. I got my blade ground down. I got the weight at a point where I like it. So I'm going to be forging a handguard for this particular cutlass. What I'm doing is a repaired blacksmith type handle that would have been done in the new world during Spanish colonialism. It looks very tough and raw. Any enterprising pirate is gonna want a better grip. That's where the hemp comes into play. My number one priority going into this challenge was to make the blade battle ready. I know it's not aesthetically pretty, but it is gonna be a queen of destruction. Oh, yeah. It will kill. <laughs> Gentlemen, the cutlass was a weapon that was specifically designed for naval combat, but was just as effective on land. Now, any pirate that went raiding would probably run into a situation where he needed to work his way through a barricade. So to test the strength of your weapons, we're going to break our way through these crates. Tobin, you're up. Let's do this. When I saw the crates, the only thing I could think of was those poor crates. Well, Tobin, it's got a lot of weight to it. It's a, quite a heavy beast. I like the, the blacksmith guard, nice. But it's so long that your hand has a, a lot of room to travel in here. A bit of deformation and a couple of chips in the blade. Okay. 
but Tobin, this will definitely break through a barricade. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. Ron, you're up next. Let's do it. Going to the weapons test, it's nerve wracking, but I'm hoping everything works out. It should have the weight on it to do the chopping. So Ron, though your handle is very crude, it was actually pretty comfortable. Your blade shows no chipping, no damage. It's a little on the heavy side, but it didn't feel like it was pulling me forward. I was able to control the tip. But uh, all in all, went through some crates. To test the sharpness of your weapon, I will take your weapon and cut through fish and then rope. Tobin, you're up. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm ready. Well, Tobin, it's sharp enough to cut through the fish. It lacerated through the rope, but it didn't cut all the way through. I hear the chunk of the blade go whoosh, right through the fish, and then I hear it hit the ground. Plow. Why did it not cut the rope? Uh, it's been a bit of disbelief about that. Ron, you're up next. Go for it. Well, Ron, definitely lacerated the fish, but it didn't slice all the way through. Your edge really isn't that sharp to cut all the way through. Ron's blade doesn't go through the fish, but it cuts the rope. Huh. Bladesmiths, this is the kill test. I will take your cutlass and deliver offensive strikes to this ballistic dummy. Then we can see how much damage your cutlass will deliver. Tobin, you're up. <laughs> that cut right through the chest, <laughs> a laceration into the pectoral muscle right here. Not much on this slash here, but Huh. <laughs> That's all the way through. It will kill. Yeah. <laughs> Ron, you're up next. You ready? I'm ready. Ron, there are no visible marks. Unfortunately, your blade will not kill. I'm completely shocked there's no damage on the dummy. I'm shocked. Tobin, Ron, you've both done commendable work. But it's time for one of you to leave the forge and one of you to be declared the Forged Empire champion. Tobin, congratulations. You are the Forged Empire champion. Thank you. Ron, your blade did not make the cut. Ron, we pushed your blade hard and held its edge through the strength test. But in the end, a cutlass has to be a cut and thrust sword. And in the kill test, it just didn't perform. Please surrender your weapon. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. I'm not bitter towards Tobin. I'm not bitter towards anybody. I had a great experience. Lesson that I learned today is to keep the blade sharp. Tobin, congratulations. <laughs> you are the Forge and Fire champion, and you will be receiving a check for $10,000. <laughs> How do you feel, man? How do you feel? 
Uh, there's no words. Like, ah, uh, nothing's coming up. Freaking one! Yeah! <laughs> Uh, I'm in shock a little bit. I like the overall look of your blade. I like the whole dark factor. I like the sweep to it. And I really like the edge geometry on it. It's just strange. It's... <laughs> <laughs> I never win anything. And the fact that I want this, I'm... <sighs> I need a nap. <laughs>